Hi everyone, welcome back for another episode from the Pixar Cars Character Encyclopedia. Every time I think we're finished with this series, I get a request from somebody to do something else. And in this case, I got a request to do Professor Z and Sir Miles Axelrod. And look at this here, I want to show you something. Look, it looks like my name's not Chuck, has a new job. He's changing Red's tire. But Red's so big, he actually can't lift him off the ground because he goes up in the air, look. Stanley's overseeing the whole job. And Light and McLean, they're all having a good laugh at that. But let's go back and look at Professor Z in the Cars Character Encyclopedia. Professor Z was kind of like the boss, the second in command of Cars 2. He's the head lemon, or the second in head lemon. He killed off one of the big cars in the show. He blew up Rod Torque. Remember that? Blew him up to pieces. Let's see what the book says about Professor Z. Watch out! Professor Z is about. Professor Z is an evil weapons designer. He has created a device to discredit the alternative fuel, Alanol. He wants his fellow lemon cars to take over the world. Professor Z has devised a device that can blow up race cars. Model name, Professor Z. Series, Cars 2. Versions 2. 1958 Klein Wagon 250. What the? I never heard of a Klein Wagon. Gee. Okay, let's see. I Spy. Professor Z is the first ever die-cast car with a monocle. Some Professor Z models come with a blurred monocle, while others have a clear monocle. Let's see what this one here. That's a very clear monocle. Look, I can see his eye. Professor Z is a tiny car with an evil mind. He is one of the lightest die-cast releases from Cars 2, I'd say. Professor Z is always up to no good, thinking up strange inventions. Even his license plate is bad GA58. Now, who can read that? Well, I can see it. That's good. Okay, let's see what else it says. Slightly crazed expression. Yeah, that's for sure. Ah! And evil geniuses are never without their monocle. I wonder why that is. Anyway, he was pretty popular in Cars 2, and he devised that camera that could blow up the Alamo cars. Now, let's do Sir Miles Axelrod. All right, there's Miles Axelrod. Check it out, that's the die cast. Miles Axelrod is miles ahead when it comes to helping the environment and has been highly modified to reflect his eco-friendly beliefs. He created the World Grand Prix to showcase his clean-burning renewable Alanol. Remember at the start of the show, Miles was discovered lost in the woods for months and months and months and he came back looking like this. And that's when he discovered, or so he says, the alternative fuel Alanol. Then he discovered the new gas field off the coast. Model name, Miles Axelrod, Cars 2, versions 1. 1978 Brander, Brantford Axelrod, never heard of it. Go green, that's his motto, or so he says. Miles believes his alternative fuel, all in all, is the energy of the future. It is safe, clean, and petroleum free. Considering his past as a rich oil baron, many are not convinced by Miles' new change of attitude. Ah, that should give you a tip right there. Eco-conscious Miles has a solar panel on his roof and rear windows. Let's have a look. Oh yes, oh yeah, there they are, yeah, that's pretty cool. The green paint job matches Miles' eco-friendly views. Oh wow. Miles seems like the ultimate eco-warrior. However, his sudden conversion to eco-campaigner has made some cars a little more suspicious of his motives. Hmm. Miles seems to be serious about saving the environment. Miles Axelrod's license plate reads Alt Energy, an abbreviation for Alternative Energy. Well, there you have it. Let's check these two cars out again. We got Professor Z and Sir Miles Axelrod, two of the head lemons. And we have here a few more lemons. Look, we'll go through them if you want to. And uh, that's what it is for today, folks. Thanks for watching.